There's a lot more space in the world than you think. And the trick is to think small, very small. This year's Nobel Prize in Chemistry went to three scientists for developing metal organic frameworks, or MOFs. They include Japanese professor Kitagawa Susumu of Kyoto University. Now, MOFs are a big breakthrough on a molecular level. They're like tiny children's climbing frames. And in the spaces between, they can store chosen gases extremely efficiently. It's said just one gram of MOFs can have an internal surface area equivalent to a soccer field. And our next report is about how they can be used in the real world. Indonesia is the world's fourth most populous country. And keeping everyone supplied with gas is a constant challenge. Officials at a pioneering Japanese company want to help. They're collaborating with a government research institute near the capital, Jakarta. They're developing next-generation cylinders for home use. Indonesia has an abundance of natural gas reserves. But they're off-limits to most households because severe land subsidence and other issues make it difficult to build pipelines. Gas must instead be transported in cylinders. But conventional types cannot store natural gas, which operates at higher pressures. So Indonesia relies heavily on imports. The Japanese company is headquartered in Kobe, and it produces up to 20 tons of metal organic frameworks per year. Bringing new materials to market usually takes a long time, but we want to realize our plan as quickly as possible. The officials have high hopes for their cutting-edge cylinders. This is the high-pressure container inside. We fill it completely with MOFs, which absorb the gas. That's the key. MOFs can store natural gas much more efficiently. And for a country like Indonesia, that could be transformational. MOFs might spell the end of energy imports and pave the way to self-sufficiency. Indonesia currently relies on imported propane gas, but with these next-generation cylinders, households will be able to use environmentally friendly gas produced domestically. That's a huge advantage. The team started working with the Indonesian government two years ago. They're now confident about the safety of their methods, and real-world trials are set to start next year. They recently held a meeting to refine their plans. Uh, after we confirm the performance, we can go to the actual field. Then we can do the test in actual uh, CNC station or actual hospital. We are going to launch this uh, Qtan in Indonesia uh, on uh, 2027. The Indonesian government is optimistic too. Building natural gas pipelines can be extremely expensive. But with these cylinders, gas could be transported even to remote areas using small vehicles. This could help us tackle energy security issues. We see this technology as a real breakthrough. MOFs are Nobel Prize winning science with huge potential. And for this team, Indonesia could be just the beginning. We must follow through on our plans to properly implement this project in the real world. We're currently taking that crucial first step. We believe this could expand the possibilities for MOFs, which are still in their infancy.